In his budget in reply speech last night, Peter Dutton reaffirmed the Coalition's superannuation for housing policy announced during the last election campaign. It was their best policy of the campaign, but they held it back to the last week for some reason. Anyway, the idea is that people would be able to access their own super for a housing deposit to help them get into the market. Currently, a super fund can be used to buy a residential or commercial rental property, to buy shares or even livestock. In fact, it can be used to buy almost any asset class except a home to live in. Now, under the coalition scheme, the money would be paid back into the fund with interest when the house was sold. Inexplicably, Labor continues to oppose this sensible idea. And the one thing that he re-announced was he rehashed the policy to raid people's super funds, damage their retirement incomes, and a policy that would lead to higher housing prices. This is pretty bizarre stuff, isn't it? Because Labor loves playing with your money, forcing you to put it into super, but then not letting you use your own savings to buy yourself a house to live in. Yet under its own housing plan announced in this week's budget, Labor wants the big super funds to invest in its government housing schemes. And already there are reports the big industry super funds are eager to invest your money in fulfilling Labor's housing plans. So just think about that for a moment. Labor wants to force you to put your money into a super fund and then deny you the option of using some of those savings to buy your own house. But Labor also wants the big union funds to use your money on someone else's house so that they can rent it out. It kind of sums up the problem with Labor, doesn't it? All about big government and other people's money rather than allowing people to be self-reliant and get ahead on their own endeavours.